Hello everyone and welcome to Theme Park Coasting and today we are over here for Friday night 2019 Merlin Pass PV Day and with me today we've got Cannon Duplessis Hello. for his first ever Friday night experience and actors are coming down and I am mega mega excited I've been looking forward to this since November last year so if you are sharing this same excitement click that nice big red button down there to stay updated with all of our Friday night stuff all throughout Fort Park but at the moment I am standing out Dead Creek Massacre, the brand new maze for 2019. And that's where we're heading for our first maze of the year. And also I've got Adam Ross today, but you're not yeah. going to do any mazes, but hopefully I'll be able to get you in one today and that'd be awesome. But no further ado, let's get into Creek Creek Massacre. <laughs> Okay, we've just completed Dead Creek Massacre and we're talking about these guys, so what did you think of it? Yeah, it was really good. Uh, it was really intense and I had uh, quite a personal run through. But overall it was amazing, a uh, really strong chain surrounding energy from guys probably already seen. But overall it's an amazing maze. Uh, Corporate really pulled it this year and especially is their most intense maze. So definitely check it out if you're down there. Yeah, different areas. Yeah, there's so yeah. many routes you can go. I mean, yeah, I'm waiting for yeah. Leah to come out. She's still yeah. not out. I mean, there's so many routes you can take, and it's unreal. Yeah. yeah. yeah Rest of you enjoy it as well, yeah? Good? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I can't tell you. You better go ahead out. I can't tell you how amazing it is, honestly. Best maze I think I've ever done over here for Fight Nights. Intense, mental, and I see where it gets the wall for most intense maze ever. And of course, you see my reaction to the side, of course I didn't film it for you guys as well, just because of the fact that it was not allowed to be filmed inside there. And I'm still trying to get my breath back now from that. But there will be spoilers now for the next like 30 seconds of the video and it's explain. So what happens, of course you go on your own, so you enter into this like little room. You go for a little feature. You don't really thing. go on your own, you go into two little separate rooms. Yeah, well, kind of. I don't know about you, but I went on my own. And, uh, you went up this like, little like hill thing and went down again. And then acted inside this like, really condensed space, claustrophobic people everywhere. And you went down and then they met you, you went around this thing, and then the worst bit, like when you kind of go around, there was an awesome chainsaw scene. But the worst bit was at the end, where you got finally there, and then you come with me. Uh oh, that's a shame. And that's what I got literally. I was like, no, not me, man. No, no, no. You can't even know. And then that driving is actually like a maze. And you can hear the screams of people coming out right now. And God, I don't think I've ever been so scared in my life to do an attraction like that. 100% worth it. And I really hope it stays for more years oh, over God. here at Fort Park Resort. But now, I'm going to do my second play at Maze over here at Park. Uh, well, Platform 15. But before that, I was going to ask Callum. Callum, what do you think about your first ever horror okay. maze? So, you, you got split up. Yeah, I don't know who has that one. You went into the, the place, and then all I could hear was you screaming, Oh God! <laughs> and that, I think that actually scared me more than actually going into it myself. Was it scary though, Callum? It was very, very scary. Yeah. Um, very, very fantastic maze. Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to doing it in other days as well with, of course, Jane and my host and my dad as well. So when I say subscribe, I really mean do it because that will support the channel so much and you can see everyone's reactions inside them as well. But Adam's also here and I think I've told you that he's here, but what did you do? Um, basically, we're around this stealth and luckily the empty high actors are actually on. So that was amazing, like, we had people come up with the big. That was really, really good. And as well, out here, it was probably in the video, like, there was an actor, like, as you know, I don't really like actors that much. There was an actor, when we were going through the sawmill one, just ran up to me out there and just started jumping in front of me. So, and yeah, I have got a video of that, so I'll probably Did you think you're going to do that, mate, by the time the fight night's over? 
Don't I? See, that is the reason, guys. That is the reason why you have to stay tuned to the channel. Because you've seen him do his first race, and he is only 11 years old. But enough about Dead Creek, or Freak, Creek Freak Massacre. Let's go over towards Platform 15. I've never actually been fully disappointed in the maze. Second maze, favourite maze last year, however, this year it was lacking some. I don't know what, but I just felt like there's something else needs to be there. The village section was good actually, the scene down there was good, and then the ending, it was okay. Like I said, the ending had someone who fought you in their group, and then kind of at the end, blood came out. And yeah, it was pretty good, yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, it was good, it was good. But I just can't stress enough how I wish I was more active inside that maze. Because I don't know whether I put more inside the uh, Creek, Creek Massacre or whatever, but I just wish, just wish a little bit and they started to add more rats into or stuff. However, carrying on our final tradition, we're heading now over towards my first maze I've ever done, if it is open, Living Nightmare. And actually, I'm really looking forward to this one, Cam's done any of these, so what did you think of? Platform 15. Platform 15, um, I haven't done it before, so obviously I can't say I was missing something, but it felt like something was needed to be added. It wasn't the greatest. <laughs> yeah. like, it wasn't the greatest, so I needed to be added to it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do agree. Like I said, there's more people coming out there now at the end of the strobe group. Well, I can't really say strobe, it's just a bit of lights. But here we go, yeah, here we go. And yeah, that was okay. But now, enough of that. You've seen all of that. This is my last few years if you're back and you're watching it off the channel. But we're heading out over towards Living Nightmare. Oh, that was it, and I just lost two of my friends in it. Hello, guys. Long time no see. What? Long time no see. Why are you both taking away from me? I don't know. I got like, captive. I know. I got uh, through the maze again. Did you actually? Yeah. <laughs> God, like we ended it, and it was just a normal Negan scene. However, it wasn't Negan's time to do it disappointing. And then my dad got held captive. We went through the rest of it. I was like, okay, this is fun. All good for me. Used to be some kind of get scared. And then. We're going through the boss. Oh, no one's real, no one's real. And then... Oh. That was one a, was real. That one was real. <laughs> and, of course, I was in fun joking about it a little bit like I normally do. And then, we kind of went through and... We got past, like, the near jungle bit. And at that point there... He, he grabbed Callum and Callum's going back in the maze again. So we got two rounds and one. I mean, it wasn't, like, that far back, but it was... It was in the strobe room, wasn't it, roughly? Yeah, it was in the strobe room, yeah. Back. So, kind of, you had to do the square again. But... Yeah, it was with me and being on my own. Dead yeah, Creek Massacre, Dead really Creek Massacre, Creek Creek Massacre actually. Then and then, uh, then they did that one back there, and like, they were like singling me out, don't they? I don't know if it's because of a t shirt or whatever, but yeah, weird. And now, we're gonna head over towards the next attraction. <laughs>
really good. Love the actors, great fun as well with their show. I don't know how often that's on, but yeah, that was a really good show as well. Got fun row. Music, I don't know if I can add it in or not because copyright and stuff, but come over here, look at it yourself. It's an unmissable experience. And for the price to come in, there's some pretty good majors. And recently as well, we were actually having a look inside the shop, and there's some dead. Oh, is it with Deku Masker? But it's not, it's Free Creek Masker. One well, thing is so confusing, honestly. But yeah, those acts are really good inside there. And my brother at the moment is now heading on towards Stealth to do that one over there. And like I said, I'm not doing amazing, I'm not doing Rise on Friday night. I want to do other amazing acts, actors and stuff. Like, I would have missed that if I did anything else. But luckily, we're at the right place at the right time to experience that. So yeah, we're not going to carry on our journey throughout here. And I want to kind of keep the talking to me quite short because you want to see the mazes. And it was actually really good as well. But. Come on, Callum. What did you think of that? Very good. Yeah, very good Yeah. Did that one, but well, that was absolutely phenomenal. I've got to say, going in there, it's changed so much. And of course, like always, we're just spoilers. It was first time there's four of us, two and two, me, Helen, and L2, went through and went through the bus, the skate there, uh, and the seat, you got the seat bus as you work as well. You go down in this area, and then they select you, and is it a surprise that they selected me? Every single maze, three of our maze that we've done, they have selected me for it. So obviously I'm in the first, I got dragged to the side, went into a little room sort of thing, and everyone knows a little room, and then get pulled out one by one. And the first time, we went around and kind of got to go straight through, but I got like a head chopped off, it's quite dangerous on maze. And then you kind of go through lots of like, same thing as before, car, engine, and then there was like a psycho room, which was really creepy. And then you do the final room, there's like five actors. But then we went again the second time round, and it was only me and Callum. So we literally got split up halfway through, and Callum always got in front of me, because he, he, was, he never bothered to go first into the maze. So he always came up first, and then I had like five minutes because I was looking for his stuff. But Callum, what did you think of it? It was really, really good, actually. Uh, very scary, actually. Uh, yeah. I basically quickly went through all of it. Very good maze. Yeah, it was a really good maze. And Adam, what have you done since we did an over maze the final night? Um, I've basically done all the big five. I've done stuff a couple more times. I'm not sure, but when you're filming the show, you may have got me in there, me and my dad and Stealth in there. Seven pro, if you want to know. Um, but, yeah, well, I've had an amazing day. This is my first time on Friday night. Um, it was very Friday night, though, because it's not night time. But the atmosphere around here is just stunning. Uh, I've seen a couple of the actors going around as well, behind you and stuff. Yeah. And like I said, I'm really looking forward to coming down here tomorrow to do all of these in the dark as well, including Blair Witch, which I haven't done today. So if you are new here, of course, I mentioned it loads, but it's really important to subscribe, to stay up to date with all of these videos. And I'm one of the only channels that do audio along with it. So if you do enjoy that, I do it for rides and I do it for mazes as well. So it's really, really good. But now we're going to get some photos around all the mazes for the thumbnail and I'll see you as we leave the final night. Wow, this event has been amazing. And heading back over towards Free Creek Massacre, got the name right that time, I really can tell how good this year's final night is going to be. I'm gonna be heading there for, well, like, two, like seven or 10 times this year, and it is going to be absolutely phenomenal when I do all of that. Great fun, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Hey, be part coasting. So if you like to subscribe, and honestly, it was absolutely amazing. I can't believe that. I'm so excited to come back tomorrow to do night rides, and also to see a lot of queues there. There's a lot of queues inside of it. But we're now going to do our top four maze of the years, and we still have some more to do. And I've never done Blair Witch before, so that's going to be quite cool. So, Callum, sort of you. I have Archie on the way, but have all you mates that you've done, go and count down from the best to the worst. Okay, right. Well, there's no bad mazes, I don't think, this year. Uh, there I weren't think... any bad mazes. Hey, can I compare to last year when I was Bike and Pig? That's when you saw the bad mazes. But today, well, not today, it, <laughs> yeah, today we've seen some of the best mazes I've seen in my life. Gutted though, one thing that just push it over the edge is this saw alive was still open. But I understand for safety reasons, stuff like that, it's not. Anyway, come back to you. So, of course, I can rank it. Um, from the best, I guess, to the worst, I guess. Because all the mazes were spectacular, but Creek Creek is definitely my number one spot right now. Um, followed by 
I think there's a tie for second um, between Sanctum, Do or Die, and Living Nightmare. It's a bit unfortunate that it's not Living Nightmare Extreme, but it's Living Nightmare. And then last one is Platform, which was a bit of a disappointment. Yeah, like I said, Platform was most disappointing, but if you had to choose one between Living Nightmare and Sanctum, what would you choose? Oh. Oh. Make it tough for you, Callum, make it tough. It's just been um, racing, me, full of you. Mainly because of my personal experience on my first time living like that. Yeah, that was good. And of course, it's my first ever maze. And I've got to say, right now, after doing that Free Creek Massacre, all the mazes have felt absolutely tiny. But Adam, well, what have you thought of your day today? Yeah, I've really enjoyed it, as it was my first ever visit to Fort Park Friday night. And I mean, I'm happy I came down today. Um, we only had two hours up here, really, um, because that was when the Angel Pass film was on. We saw loads of people, like, um, like for Deals for March, and like, loads of other people. Including the Jack Silkstone Yeah, Jack at the end. It's not the end. Um, but yeah, overall today, it has been amazing, and I, I just love coming around. Even though I didn't do the majors, that Amity High show was so cool. Though I didn't really see because I was on it, like I said. Um, but like, everything was just so good today. Like, and that bus is just amazing. Yeah, there's two of my really cool. And yeah, I've got to agree, it's amazing. But you guys, what did you think of it? You did a maze, you didn't do anything. Yeah, it was good. I did, I did Nemesis. Not any mazes, I know any mazes. I did a maze, this one was really good. It's quite quiet tonight, which is really nice. And um, yeah, good fun again. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's the light, it's different in the light actually, better than the dark. But it was good. I talked yeah. to the characters from Amity High. Yeah, 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 but not that. Yeah, so Amity High is good for your first time. If you want to go to stuff, you have to go past them, which is quite a good thing to get you into mazes and stuff. But I've got to say, this marks the end of our video today, and I hope you really enjoyed. Full vlog will be coming out very shortly, hopefully next Wednesday sometime, as it's been posted on Friday or Saturday, and I am filming it tomorrow. And that includes videos with James and Austin, more with Callum and Plessy and the Cougar <laughs> Gavin, of course. As well, we are going to be heading towards a Halloween event across the whole of the UK, including Chesington, you know, Legoland, calm down guys, let's get that one, and hopefully Tully's as well as Austin Towers. So if you make it out of one, make to stay tuned to your channel to see all of them. This marks the end of this video today. My name is Tom Dehut from Theme Park Coaster, and we have started Fright Night 2019, and goodbye.